communication in real world today. Everyone's learning something they can say. TV and radio voices can be heard. I love learning every single word. We are best view, best view podcast. We are best view with a podcast. T-R-E-S-T-V, I-E-W, best view. Go. Yeah, and go to... Welcome back to CBTV. I'm Maya. And I'm Leah. We, we are, are your CBTV TV anchors. First, we'd like to wish Kimberly a very happy birthday. Please come to the office to claim your birthday pencil after CBTV. Here's the question of the week. How many eggs do you have if you have two and a half dozen? Good luck. Remember to put all guesses in the orange box in Mr. Tom's room. A winner will be announced on Friday at CBTV. Next, we have this week's movie quote. Can you guess what movie this quote is from? There's no place like home. Put all guesses in the blue box in Mr. Tom's room. Everyone will be announced on Friday, this Friday CBTV. Next, we have Kennedy with today's weather update. We will see the best weather of the week today as we climb into the low 50s today. But don't get used to it. Tonight's temperatures will fall, begin to fall. Look for rain and possibly snow to move in this evening. We will only see the highs in the 30s the next couple of days. For your CBTV weather, I'm Kennedy. Back to you, anchors. Don't forget to go to Chick-fil-A and Brow Ripple or Keystone on Thursday night. All proceeds from this Dying to Donate will go to help Miss Richie fight cancer. Next, we have John with today's sports moment. Last night, our Pacers won another one. Bob Donovic led the team with 29 points as they took down the Bucks, 92-89 uh, to 89 at Baker's Life Fieldhouse last night. It was also announced yesterday that the Colts will be offering a chance to win $100,000. All you have to do is guess the Colts 2018 schedule before it comes out. Next, we have Mr. Tutsi in the studio with some special awards. All right, Bobcats, I'm gonna tell you right now, we will have, there's somebody out of this group will be a bobsled gold medal. So I'm telling you, what a phenomenal group. Let's start with our sixth grade girls right through here. You guys are just get in front of me, okay? First place, Anaya and Lyric, or excuse me, whoa, whoa, let me get back. Anaya and Jennifer. Anne was a bronze medalist. And then Ray Ray and Genesis were bronze. Thank you, ladies. You come right over here. Okay, first grade girls, right over here, first grade girls. Oh, you, I'll tell you, we can leave you right there. Okay, first place was Anaya and Lyric. Um, silver medalist was Marcella and Brianna. And worst, Kay Kayla and Danasia. Are they here? Oh, stand up, guys. And they were our bronze medalists. Very good. Okay, to the first grade boys. Go ahead and sit down, ladies. Uh, first grade boys, come up. Tavant and Safir right here gold medalists, all right? Matthew and Julian were silver medalists. Cruz, Lee, Anthony, and Aristeo were all bronze medalists. Look at the camera, guys. Very good. Have a seat for us. Have a seat. Very good. Second grade girls. If you would stand up right here, second grade girls, okay? Natalia and Malia from Miss Allen's class were the bronze, were the gold medalists. Tariah and Natalie were silver medals for Miss Miller. And Lania and Janiah were the bronze medalists. Thank you. Guys, go ahead and have a seat. Okay. For the boys, second graders, come on up. And this was, again, a phenomenal competition. One one-hundredths of a second decided the winner from the bronze. The gold medalist was Courtney and Leland. The silver medals for Miss Miller was Colt and Kenny. Please be quiet over there. And Jordan and Juan were the bronze medals. F fabulous job, Bobcats. We got more medals coming tomorrow. Have a seat. Next, we have today in history. Today in 1977, <coughs> today in 1977, Evening with Diana Ross aired on NBC TV. In 1981, Walter Cronkite appeared on his last episode of CBS Evening News with Walter Cr Cronkite. He had been on job for 19 years. And in 1983, the United States Football League began its first season of pro football competition. It had 18 teams in the league. It only lasted three seasons before it folded. It gave the NFL a run for its money at the time. Today's out of the game day comes from legendary basketball player Shaquille O'Neal, who turned 46 years old today. He says, 
I never worry about the problem. I worry about the solution. Thank you for listening. I'm Maya. And I'm Leah. Have a great Tuesday. Take care of yourself. Stay responsible, respectful, and safe. And remember, remember to find your voice in today's world. world.